Hello, I am Peter Pons, uh, responsible of development of uh, LDS Perimeter System uh, from Large Display Solutions, and I am very glad to see you in this course. In this course, we are going to learn what are perimeter systems, what's the difference between a perimeter system and a normal player, right? Uh, generally, a normal player is designed to uh, to play media, videos, uh, images, to screens that are uh, square screens. I mean, not exactly squared, but uh, but rectangular, right? But a perimeter system is a system that is used to display videos in screens that are very 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 long and very 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 um, with a very reduced height right even though strictly speaking they are squared they are mostly lineal linear right so this is a huge difference because the the standard way of encoding videos uh, is designed for for a squared uh, for a squared screens. So the, the maximum resolution in a in horizontal uh, in horizontal uh, uh, weight we have is uh, 400, uh, 4, and, uh, 4 thousand and ninety six pixels wide, right? Uh, this is very small in comparison to the size of a perimeter system. So, the, um, the, 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 the perimeter systems, the, the control management perimeter systems, are designed to play media and place it like it was long, 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 long in width and really short in height, right? This has some technical speci speci specialities, right? Uh, and what is LDS Perimeter? LDS Perimeter is a content management system for perimeter systems, right? It's designed to play media along a very, very long screen and generally very short, right? Where is it? Where is it uh, being used uh, before the release of this course? This system is being used in uh, all the Portuguese league, in France, mostly all the stadiums in France. Not all, but nearly all. Uh, many stadiums in uh, in La Liga in Spain, in uh, the Mexican uh, football league. In Chinese professional football league, in uh, UK in the Premier is in some stadiums, in Switzerland, it's in South Africa, uh, it's in China. Well, it has many references. It plays many matches a week, right? It's been running uh, since it's been running for six years right now, right? It's very very stable. We, we we haven't had uh, problems of, uh, of stability of the of the software, which is a very a very good news from from our side, right? And uh, well, uh, I would think is a very nice and interesting system to know, right? How are we going to organize this uh, this course? This course will be organized by sections and lessons. Each lesson will be very short, right? We want uh, to provide an index of uh, an index of, of, of small lessons so that when you want to know something special, for example about how to configure the system with Novastar controllers, you go to the corresponding video and you find it. You don't have to be uh, messing with a huge video, right? Small videos uh, divided by sections, right? 
It is important to know also that the system is, is uh, the software system is alive. I mean, we uh, upgrade it uh, periodically uh, with new functionalities, with new ideas, uh, and if it's the case with corrections, right? Hopefully, uh, as, as we have implemented an automatic test system, uh, the corrections needed is really, really, really slow, really small, sorry. But in case uh, we detect any trouble, of course, there will be one release soon uh, that uh, will provide the solution for your problem, right? Generally, uh, we used to provide two updates, uh, one in the summer and one in the, in the winter. Uh, why these dates? Well, um, uh, because uh, generally in the summer we uh, have the chance to talk to clients, to get new ideas, to get new needs, and uh, and before the the preparation of the stadiums for the next year, we release uh, an upgrade, right? Um, of course. Um, if the software is alive, the course will be alive. This course will be um, improving in adding new topics uh, that may not be uh, yet covered or just uh, adding new features to the system or including uh, better explanations than, uh, than, we, we have, than we had before, right? So, uh, we will also correct my mistakes in front of the camera. <laughs> What's, what sections are we going to have? We're going to have four sections. Installation and configuration, right? All related to installing and configuring the system in this section. Preparing and organizing the media. I will not talk about videos. I will talk about media. Why? Because media uh, refers to videos, to uh, images, and uh, and I don't want to, tr to to send the idea that only reproduces videos, right? Uh, for example, when you are playing uh, Fate with Twitter uh, and you accept images uh, se sent by your supporters, right, with, with their mobile phone, uh, you have images there. That, that's media also that is going to be uh, delivered in a controlled way to, to in the perimeter system, right? Then we'll have uh, so so in this uh, in this section uh, we will cover everything about preparing the media, how to set up the playlist, the se the sequences, etc. Right? And then we have uh, two more sections. One is during the event, and the other one is post-event tasks. This system is supposed to be designed uh, having in mind that the people who is using it in the stadium maybe has to be aware of many things, right? So it has to be very simple, very simple to, to use, because as much simple it is, less problems we'll have, right? We are in a, in a live fit, right? In the center of a football match, for example, or a basket match, uh, with uh, the TV uh, transmitting uh, the match. So it's better not to commit mistakes, right? And the best way uh, to provide a tool that, doesn't, that helps you to not commit mistakes is that is very simple, right? So, during the event, we'll cover the things we have to know in the control panel, right? Uh, to to change the media, to, to change the sequence, and to make everything work fine and smoothly. And the post-event task, we will cover things that may be done after the event, right? Uh, for example, taking a statistics of how many times one video is been on air, how many times, uh, how many seconds has it been on air, for example, etc, etc, etc. Right? So, now we are in the point that we can only say, let's go, right? 
I hope you enjoy this course. If you have uh, any trouble, any doubt, uh, do you want to comment anything? Do not uh, have any problem. Don't hesitate to contact me in, in at info at largedisplaysolutions.com. My mail will be in all of the videos at the end, right? Uh, have no troubles to ask. I will attend to you personally uh, without without any trouble, right? Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.